Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a 2021 favorites. So this year I have explored makeup, hair care, skin care, all of the above. So I think I have a pretty good collection of favorites going on. Let's start with makeup. Why don't we just start with makeup? Alrighty, so my first favorite of 2021 was this so this is the l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation i'm actually wearing foundation right now and i usually don't wear foundation but for this video i thought i would just put some makeup on okay so this is the one i'm wearing the shade i have is 107.5 in ivory beige i love this foundation it absolutely creates the most matte finish ever it applies beautifully. I go in first with the beauty blender and then I'll go in with the brush just to make sure there's no texture. It's all smoothed out, buffed, everything, okay? We wanna be looking snatched. Okay, next, let's talk about, I guess I should have started with primer, but let's just talk about this one. So this is the One Heck of a Blot Primer and you can find this at Target. I believe Ulta as well, but I get mine at Target. And I watch a YouTuber, um, Casey Holmes. I love her. Well, she actually used this primer like a really long time ago, like forever ago. And I don't know. I really like it. It's kind of like a gel texture and it's supposed to shrink your pores, which it does 100%, but it's affordable. It lasts a really long time. I think I've had this tube for about, oh God, I don't know. Now that I think of it, it's it's been a while. Okay, so it lasts. Talk about eyebrows. So everybody has a good brow and a bad brow. Well, this is my good brow, this is my bad brow. This one is always on its A game. This one just doesn't like to cooperate. So um, I found this product, it's the NYX the brow glue and it comes in this like little tube and it has a tiny 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 little spoolie at the end I absolutely love this product um I think it works just as well as the Patrick Ta or I've also used the elf clear brow mascara I absolutely love the way that this shapes my brows I just go in with it I do it before I put like foundation or any kind of any kind of tinted moisturizer on just because it does leave like a glue residue so it's not that big of a deal to me I just go in afterwards with like a makeup wipe and just go like above my brows and just wipe it off however um, it did screw me over a few times I didn't realize that it left a glue residue and yeah gross we all know how that story ends it was so Ew. You, it literally looks like I put Elmer's glue in my eyebrows. But anyways, I really love this. The only downside is the fact that it doesn't last very long. Um, but other than that, it's pretty great. Moving on, let's just talk about setting powders. So we'll talk about this one first. So it's this Wet n Wild palette. It comes with a contour shade as well as a banana powder translucent shade. Um, I love this shade it's a really light banana powder however I have bought this exact palette probably about four times just for this shade I use this one as well but this one I don't know why but it is spectacular I rant and rave about this stuff like I love it this is probably one of my holy grail products next product we're gonna talk about is this setting powder so it's the rcma translucent powder i have had this for probably less than a year but it's been quite some time and it i use it every single day every single day you can't even tell it looks brand new um i love this stuff i actually bought this at a store called the makeup shack I bought it there. I think the only other place that you can buy this product is online. I haven't seen it in any other stores, so when I saw it, 
at the makeup shack, I was like, you're coming home with me. You're coming home with me. So I love this stuff. It just sets your face so beautifully. It doesn't leave a white cast. I was scared of that because it is very, very white. I was so scared that it was going to have flashback, everything like that. But I haven't experienced any flashback with it and I love this stuff. Well, let's just talk about these. Miss Selena. Miss Selena. She killed it with these. I love her makeup brand. Like, ugh, I want everything from it, but unfortunately, these are the only two things that I have. Um, both of them are liquid blushes. This is in the shade Love, and this one's in the shade Grace. I like them both. However, I definitely reach for the shade Love a little bit more. But the thing that I love about these products is they're so pigmented, they blend beautifully. I mean, I also really love the applicator. I don't even know if you can see it, but I love the applicator as well. I really want to try her other products, but these blushes are a win-win. The next makeup product I want to talk about is this Revolution. Yes, it's by Revolution. Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating, oh, Under Eye Concealer. I don't use it as concealer. I actually use it as a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. But it looks like this. And for the longest time, I was one of the girlies that just wasn't fortunate enough to have the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. So I settled for this instead. I love this stuff um I have it in the shade deep caramel I think it works great I love the fact that it's like a twisty at the end and that's how you get the product out in comparison to the Charlotte Tilbury one you have to like squeeze it out and then like I didn't know you had to twist it to open it I don't know it's a mess a little bit but I love this one this is a great dupe if you can't get your hands on the Charlotte Tilbury one. I know that one's always out of stock. So try this one out. Let me know what you think. Um, I think the best way to blend it would probably be a beauty blender. I've tried a brush and a beauty blender. Both of them work, but beauty blender looks better. If you're going to use a brush, definitely use like a stippling brush. But yeah. Okay, the very last makeup product that I have to talk about before we move on to other categories is this. So this is the Kiss Lash Glue. Um, this one has aloe vera in it, so I gravitated towards this immediately. I used to use um, the Duo. I used to use the Duo Lash Glue. Okay, I loved it. However, it would kind of irritate my eyes and when I would like rip off my lash I had a lot more residue. Let's just say that. So when I tried this one I think the aloe in it, maybe it's just all in my head, I don't know, but I think the aloe in it actually helped me a little bit. So I would definitely try this out. It's affordable and you could find it at any drugstore really. So this is my favorite lash glue. I get asked that quite a bit. So I don't have that many skincare products to talk about, but I do have my top three. So coming in number one, first place. I love this stuff. I use this, so in the shower, I'll go in with this, which I'll talk about in a second. So I'll go in with my cleanser and then afterwards, um, I'll go in with a makeup wipe, Sometimes I won't, sometimes I'll just use this, but if I really wore a lot of makeup, so if I wore foundation that day, I'll go in with my cleanser, then a makeup wipe, and then this on like a cotton pad. So this is just the micellar cleansing water. I love this stuff. I've had this bottle. I'm pretty sure all the girls that know, the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. But when you buy this bottle, it'll last you a whole decade quite literally I can't tell you how long I've had this bottle but it lasts so long and it works works pretty good all right so for cleanser I love anything by the brand the inky list um, I get it at Sephora but this is the cleanser that I use every day in the shower 
So it's the salicylic acid cleanser and it just helps with breakouts basically. Um, I only really break out like on my chin, right here on the sides of my nose and kind of right here on the forehead. Basically my T-zone, that's I'm pretty sure the most common place to break out on if I'm ever breaking out anywhere and then the next day, gone. Just like that. Yeah, so this stuff is pretty great. It's not harsh at all. That's one thing I love about the inky list. Well, let's talk about the next thing. So I have pretty dry skin. I used to have oily skin, but now I have dry skin. So to moisturize my skin and make sure that there's no cracks, there's no peeling, because my skin will peel. I don't know why, but I'll just get like little flakes and it, I can't. My makeup doesn't look good then it's just a whole ordeal. So I like to moisturize my face at night and in the morning. So this is the one that I use. This is probably my favorite one, but it's just by First Aid Beauty and it's the Ultra Repair Cream. Ultra Repair Cream. It just alleviates dry skin and it works great. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is the smell. I mean, it's not the worst smell, don't get me wrong. I don't know, I don't really like the smell. But this stuff, a little bit goes a long way and you can get it at Sephora. Um, First Aid Beauty has been my favorite brand for skincare for so long. I don't know why. I think it's because their products are great for sensitive skin and I have very sensitive skin. So any of their products, alrighty besties, we've made it to the final category. Let's talk about hair care. So I just recently got my hair done and the way my hairdresser curls my hair, it keeps me up at night. I don't know how she does it so flawlessly. I don't know how it stays all day. It just looks fabulous. She curled my hair um, last time I got it done, which was in December and it was perfect and I asked her which curling iron she used and it was actually from the brand Hot Tools and she said she got it off of Amazon I think but there was no way I was going to find it. She got it years ago. So for Christmas my boyfriend got me this curling iron and it's by Kristen S. This is what it looks like. I mentioned it in my last um, video, in my Christmas haul video. I love this curling iron. This is what I used on my hair today um I think it looks it definitely doesn't look like my hairdresser did it say hi YouTube say hi YouTube I don't know what size this is but he got it at Target and it has the clamp the one that my hairdresser used also had the clamp though I think it just gives you the most voluminous curls bouncy curls anything you could possibly want giving very much victoria's secret is it i don't know that's what i'm hoping for i want to talk about is this i don't know if you can see it so here it is it's the silk blowout quick drying thermal spray by ogx i love this stuff and i love the way it smells i just use this after i get out of the shower honestly i'll probably make a hair care routine after shower care routine whatever the girlies call it but I'll make one of those because I have to do my hair care routine every single time I get out of the shower like that's one thing I cannot go to bed without doing I can't just brush my hair and go to bed I will not sleep so I applied this and honestly I love the way it smells I got it at Target um, I'm sure you could get it at Walmart any type of drugstore but I also use this right before I go in with my Revlon like hair dryer. I use this as like the heat protectant and gives you a silky blowout. So yeah, while we're on the trend of the brand OGX, let's talk about this. So this is this humidity blocking hairspray. This stuff, I will repurchase this as soon as I run out. I love this stuff because I have really frizzy hair and when I used to work at Pirates, 
when I, as soon as I would walk in there, my hair would get frizzy, whether it was curled, straight, whatever, it was always frizzy. I bought this, the frizz wasn't there. So this stuff works for a fact, I know that. Um, it works great, I love the smell of it. It really holds your curls as well. So honestly, when I curl my hair, I don't really like to use hairspray. I'd rather use something like this. I feel like hairspray kind of pulls my curls down and doesn't hold them as well. So using something like this, honestly, works a lot better and it protects the frizz. So let's talk about the next hair care product that was my favorite, which would be hairspray. I've gotten this question before. Um, someone asked how I keep my baby hairs down. This. This stuff works so good. Okay, honestly, I've never used another brand of hairspray other than Tresemme. So this stuff is the freeze hold hairspray. Honestly, any hairspray will do. It doesn't have to be Tresemme, but Tresemme works the best. This also has frizz control in it. So if you can't tell, I love to control my frizz because I got a lot of it, okay? So the very last product that will be included in the favorites video would be claw clips. I I love them. I wear them almost every single day. I feel like this is the cutest hairstyle on me that protects my hair from using heat. So this is my favorite go-to heatless hairstyle, I guess you could say. It's not even really a hairstyle, but I like to say it is. But here are a few of my favorite clips. So I got this one, I'm pretty sure, off of Amazon. It's just like a plain tortoise shell. I really like this one because it has like a little curve to it. Cutie. This one, I think I got um, like a little boutique or something. I'm pretty sure. But it was in the mall. I don't know. Oh, this one. This one is my absolute favorite. Guess where I got it? Can you see it? It's clear. Like, look how cute it is. Guess where I got it? Dollar Tree. Yup. Dollar Tree. Material Girl. But, it works great. Like, it literally hasn't broken. It's cute. It's clear. And I wear this one almost every single day. This is probably my favorite one that I have. That is all of the favorites from this past year. I'm sure I have plenty of other favorites, but I wanted to make sure that this video wasn't long, you know? I wanted to keep it short, sweet, and simple the best I could. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. I'm so excited to keep posting more videos and getting in the groove of this YouTube thing. But yeah. I love you guys. I hope you all had an amazing day and I can't wait to talk to you again soon. Bye.